Welcome to episode one of One Woman and Her Garden. What do you do when you have an acre and a half of garden? You've recently retired. You're going to concentrate on the garden, but you don't know anything about gardening. Well, what I did was I signed on the Royal Horticultural Society's Practical Gardening Diploma Level 2. And I had a great tutor who tells me that let's just tackle it one bit at a time. So here I am tackling my shrub border. This is my shrub border here and you can see I've taken everything out of it almost that was in it. That's because the house is over a hundred years old and all the shrubs in the shrub border were the age of the house and weren't doing very much. So what I have left here is this lovely rhododendron called Arthur. Arthur Bedford was a wedding present to me and my husband 30 years ago. So Arthur stays. Then I have an azalea, not sure what kind. I have a flowering currant that I actually planted in another part of the garden. It didn't do well there and it's not doing well here, but I kept it in for nostalgic purposes. Then I have a Berberis, whose name I have just learned this week, which has lovely autumn colours. The rest, as you can see, is empty. I had some sickly looking hydrangeas, which I've taken out and put in pots, hoping they'll survive. But in the meanwhile, this is what I've done to the soil, because we learned about double digging. So, I double dug this soil and it took me a whole week and it was full to the brim of rhododendron roots. An old friend of me told me it was called bastard trenching. It's not because of the roots actually. Apparently it's an old word for double digging that you can't use anymore. But I think it's very appropriate. So I took my trenches, I've double dug them and sad to say, as well as about 10 sack loads of roots, I didn't see a single worm, well maybe four, but certainly no more than a handful, which means that this poor soil is probably not very healthy and that's why nothing is growing. So what's the plan? The plan is horse manure, apparently it's light rocket fuel. So I have to source horse manure locally and dig it into these trenches and then I've been advised to perhaps put down a membrane stop all the roots look from the rhododendrons and the oak trees behind eating into my lovely manure and taking away all the goodness so no point in them having all the goodness if i want to plant some lovely new shrubs next year so bear with me while i go on find some horse manure i'm off to look at facebook